Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another raging reality reaction video. It, you know, guys, I'm I'm literally I'm gonna level you guys. Guys, the more we go into doing mad ball reactions, I'm I'm considering my, I'm I'm making myself look more like a bouncer than I possibly thought. I mean, what authentic man who wears leather, who looks friggin' like this? Who? Let's just let's just take a moment to appreciate the shades, the leather. The chain, the chain mail, and not to not to mention the hot bitches. Don't worry, guys. I, I send them to a bar with a twenty quid note. They're gonna be back here any time now. We are, we are, we are gonna get in there, boys. You and me both. And you know what's even better, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, just in my last video, I received a whole bunch of death threats from people in Boston saying that if I ever mention the Yankees and the Red Sox ever again, they will personally, they they will literally take me down. Some of the things they said were so appalling yet actually very, very creative. I, I'll, I'll give you props on that. I am literally not going to go back there again. Boston smells anyway. Uh, so with that being said, since, of course, we now no longer can go to Boston, let's think of other places in the U.S. that we can absolutely ruin, we can ruin as well. Oh, I know. Actually, I've got, I've got this one. Oh, look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at me. My name's Wisconsin. Oh, look at me. Everything's made out of cheese. And, you know, sometimes I mistake my wife for a cow. And, oh, look at me. We've got the green packets. And, oh, because, oh, we want this out. Right, okay, that, that that should be enough. Okay, so, uh, we're not allowed back in Boston, and we're probably also not allowed back in Wisconsin, because I think the people there love their cheese so much, they're actually starting to mate with it. The cheese is starting to, uh, in its own words, stand on its own, or even probably starting to moo. <laughs> okay, so, uh, that's a, that's a good job well done. But I think we could go literally one further. Uh... Seriously, imagine having a, a hardcore grind group from New York City. That's like having a basketball team in Seattle. Okay, that settles it. Seattle, Boston, and Wisconsin. We're not allowed anywhere back in there or within a hundred or so miles or so, possibly. Let's see, let's see if we can literally get the entire US to turn against me just even before we get to the end of this album. Let's let's do that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we could pull off the ridiculous. And with all that being said and done, if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, the links will all be in the description down the wazoo. So let's begin. Infiltrate the system in three, two, one, and Look now how much we've grown I'm not the one who planted the seed 
See, this is why, ladies and gentlemen, this is why we have to continue Mad Balls right now. Because if, if, imagine if we just decided to stop doing this right now, and we got to miss out on literally Mad Ball taking over the entire system. Imagine missing out on that shit. I don't think I would be allowed to listen to uh, music ever again if I decided to uh, just stop doing Mad Ball right now. <laughs> you know what? It makes you wonder where that entire crowd of people were going. Maybe they were going to Mad Magazine and taking it over. Rest in peace, Mad Magazine. I, I mean, I never read it myself, but I, I've heard that it was quite something back in the day. So, with that being said, that was Infiltrate the System by Mad Ball. And it looks like I'd imagine a Mad Ball music video to look like. Guys, just a whole, like, just, it, it looks like almost something you would see out of, let's say, a, a, an early 2000s uh, Michael Bay movie. Maybe, like, Transformers or Armageddon. Just a bunch of guys, quite tough looking, wearing, you know, shorts, wearing, uh, basically, well, like, baseball caps, shirts, all that, all that, all that, uh, all that two jazz, literally going to... Wherever, wherever the hell they want to go, they call it themselves. They are the voice. They're not just the voices of the new generation. They are leading the brigade towards the new generation. They are spreading freedom. They are infecting the masses with their words. And I think it's it, it's really freaking interesting the way they use the word infect the masses by spreading freedom. What are they going to do? Are they going to like? piss in the water supply and they go to uh, invade every single Italian eatery in New York with some very special sauce. Uh, what exactly are they going to do is a very fair point, but I could, I, could ju I could say this much. I think I freaking like it because whatever it is, it's grown on me already. It makes me want to find out they call themselves the voices of the new generation, and they've crawled up through the depths of hell before. I'm going to assume this might have possibly been down to something that Mad Ball had done in a previous album, or maybe this is just a reflection on maybe a couple of these guys went through rehab or something like that. In a position they can't ignore, what will we do with this voice we've been given? I like that. I like that a lot. What do we do with what we are given? Do we just waste it do we dig ourselves in the ground or do we use it for something that is going to change the world what do we use it for it's not for again it's not for me to decide it well it's not for me to tell you guys it's not for mad ball to tell you guys oh there's only one person who could tell you what you ought to be doing with what you've been given and that's you guys you guys are the voices in fact, you literally could even say Mad Ball are singing this from our own perspective. I don't think we lost ourselves, but at time we did lose control. It's time to get it back. We are go this is a song for people. Mad Ball is a band for people who have felt confused or have no idea where they're going. So you know what? They are going to get you back on your feet. 
shove you in the front of the line where, you, where they're going to say, you know what, you want this more than anyone, so go out there and get it. That's what they want for you. That's what Madball wants from each and every one of you guys. We are the only ones they lost faith in. Now look how much we've grown. I'm not the one who planted the seed, but I've noticed people listen to my screams. Imagine what they do for you. Sons and daughters grab hold of the truth. Now we're in a position to lead. Take the reins. Make them believe. Poison their water supply. Their, their water supply. Burn their crops and deliver a plague onto their houses. But are we just going to let them continue ignoring us until we have to do that? I am... I'm fucking stoked for the next time we're going to do Mad Ball, which might be very, very shortly. I, because I've already made the decision to literally do the rest of this album because uh, Infiltrate the System is not necessarily the longest album in the world. But, well, as far as, like, what songs uh, we decide to go through next. But I know it's got a very, very clear message. Can't say 100% what the message might be until we get to the final part of Straight From The Heart. But I think I've got a good suspicion about what it could be leaning up to. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed us as we chilled with these wise guys once again for Mad Bulls Infiltrate The System. Please make sure to leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of Mad Balls infiltrating the system yourselves. Please also make sure to also like and subscribe to get any notifications when my videos come out. And I hope to see all of you guys again in the next reaction video. Now get last.